We can use some of that, especially where we from. Where we grew up like a green thumb, like a criminal, the only thing you can become. Hey guys, it's Sammy Love again. I'm here with another uh, commentary for you guys this morning. If you guys didn't notice, I just got my intro up. Um, I was working on it for maybe about three or four hours on uh, Cinema 4D, and uh, I let it render overnight. And I put it up this morning for you guys to see. Um, the first one uh, is pretty much just the raw footage with no music. And the one that uh, you've seen for this video, that is Breaking the Chain with uh, Lupe Fiasco. Um, it's about 30 seconds into the song where the bass drops, and I just love that part. But uh, anyway, um, I'm here to talk about uh, Call of Duty. Obviously, I'm playing Call of Duty 4. M40, A3. And uh, my commentary today is basically going to be about my idea of a perfect Call of Duty. Uh, my idea of a perfect Call of Duty, uh, I'm going to name just all the little things that they may have could have fixed in Call of Duty 4 to make the game a little bit more perfect. Alright, starting off with uh, the graphics. The graphics were really well, but you know, it's 2011, so you know, they might have could have just popped up the graphics, you know. Like Call uh, Modern Warfare 2, the graphics were really well in that game. I really liked the graphics in that game. That game was pretty decent, but Call of Duty 4, in my opinion, is still better. But you know, that was just a little thing. The graphics, they could have just fixed that up. Um, the kill streaks, they could get a little bit more creative with the kill streaks. Kind of like a mix between Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops. Um, Black Ops didn't have nukes, which was really good because with nukes, that promotes camping, and camping is bad as you all know and if you took away the nuke and it would stop people from camping up to 25 kills um another thing modern warfare 2 like i just said it had too many it was very creative with the kill streaks but it had too many but black ops they were kind of there and they kind of weren't uh kind of stupid a lot of times with the rcxds i think that's way too low for a kill streak like that and dogs only lasted for like 30 seconds Seriously, 30 seconds, and like they're not really as sweet as they were in World at War. But anyway, the number of classes in Call of Duty 4, if they just up that to 10, like they did in Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, where you have 10 custom classes once you prestige, that'd be extremely great to everybody who likes making custom classes and enjoys playing multiple game types, and you don't have to change your class all the time and being prepared for pretty much anything. Um, one thing they could have brought to Call of Duty 4, like in Black Ops, was the class customization. That, I thought, was actually pretty amazing, even though Black Ops is a really, 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 really shitty game. So if they would have brought customizations to that extreme with the face paints and the camouflages to the weapons and what else? The ridicules, you can change the colors, the shape, what kind you want the lens, all that stuff. That stuff was really well. I, I like that creativity. Um, the weapons and Call of Duty 4 I think were great. They could make newer weapons like the FAMAS, that was a really well weapon. I really like that weapon. Some weapons they have made they should take out of Call of Duty 4. Um, I'm not gonna say any. They could add shotguns though in my opinion. They added more than just two shotguns and they put in like the striker um that would be kind of sick i like that and uh, of course more more frag grenades more different grenades like they had simtex and throwing knives the equipment that stuff that stuff was really nice i like uh, that stuff was really nice i like how you could throw throwing knives and tomahawks that made really good montage clips of course and uh, the perks they could have added a few perks and they could have took out a few perks like um Overkill? What's the point of having two primary weapons? Um, I just don't see the point. Like, you can just go around and pick up somebody else's weapon. It's not that serious. But, <sighs> anywho, um, eavesdrop, you know, they every party chats are getting really big. So, I think they should just pretty much remove eavesdrop. They should add perks like bling, um, or warlord, and, and black ops, as they would say, warlord, where you can add two attachments on your weapons. And I do not believe in pro perks personally. I think that um, you should unlock your perks and everything. I understand that. But pro perks were just like kind of a waste of time. 
it, it really took too long. Like, I remember in Call of Duty 4 when I wanted to play a GB. I mean, I had all my perks. It was even. It was even. Now, when you play a game battles on um, Call of Duty Black Ops or Modern Warfare 2, you got to worry about pro perks. If that, if the other team has pro perks and you don't have pro perks, uh, it's just really difficult. And it just kept the game basic and fair. When they should have just made all the pro perks standard perks. So, yeah. Um, the maps, maps were really nice. They they should have had more DLC. I like Chinatown and Broadcast. Those are really good maps, in my opinion. Chinatown was uh, the broadcast station and the campaign. It was really nice. Uh, Chinatown, I do not know where they got that map from, but it was a really, really good map. Um, it was a city-based map. And uh, Modern Warfare 2, they had a really good DLC pack with a lot of the flashback maps with uh, upped graphics. So if you played Modern Warfare 2 DLC on the flashback maps, um, that came with uh, the DLC you would notice like hum this like like it came like with overgrown one of the packs did and you could just tell how wow like the graphics upped on this game and it made the map really good like on strike that I'm playing on right now they have that map flashback and the graphics are really amazing might get a clip of that one day um, secondaries on Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops, they had really good secondaries, except for Modern Warfare 2, the shotgun secondary. I thought that that was kind of dumb, because a lot of people, it was kind of like overkill, but you get a guaranteed shotgun. But and um, the weapon attachments in Black Ops were really amazing. The weapon attachments in Modern Warfare 2 were really amazing for secondaries, and just secondaries were really basic in that game. Yeah, just simple and basic. But yeah, this is uh, what I think Call of Duty should be. Just, uh, if it was like this, I believe Call of Duty would be perfect. So yeah, this is Sammy Love. Uh, stay tuned for more commentaries and watch my other videos. Subscribe, please. Tell me what you think. Freedom. We can use some of that, especially where we from. Where we grew up like a green thumb, like a criminal. The only thing you could become. Look at what I mean.